Hey guys, how are you going? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use CSS and also JavaScript um, to detect an operating system color scheme. So uh, essentially with this, you're able to change your website styling into something like a dark mode if the user's device, such as their mobile phone or their PC, has a dark mode or dark color scheme enabled. So like I said, this can be achieved purely with CSS, but you can also detect it using JavaScript. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of it working. So as we can see here on this web page, um, currently it is the default light mode. However, if I was to go into, uh, into my Windows settings here and I change my app mode to be dark, we can see that upon changing that, the website turns automatically into a dark theme. So it's very easy to do. So let's go inside this tab right here and uh, see how to actually do it. So I might just go back inside here and change my theme back to light mode so we can start fresh. So let's go inside uh, the text editor. This is the web page right here. So uh, we can start with the CSS example. So inside my CSS, in order to detect dark mode, uh, we're gonna be setting um, essentially a set of rules uh, for when the device is in dark mode. So we're gonna be achieving this using at media, just like this. And then with this, we're gonna be saying, within brackets here, we're gonna say prefers prefers color dash scheme and then colon and then dark. Okay, so this right here, everything inside these brackets now is gonna um, uh, come into play when the device is in dark mode. This also supports a light just like this. However, I do recommend you simply stick to some default styles and then uh, you know change it for dark mode specifically just like this. So for example, Let's say now during dark mode, I'm going to change my body. I'm going to say background and make this, let's just do um, a very dark gray. Okay, so uh, you can choose to go with full black, so uh, triple zero, something like this, um, which may assist in uh, uh, saving battery on AMOLED devices, um, but I prefer to have just a dark gray as I find it easier to read. And for the H1 and also my T summary um, list uh, just down here, um, for this I'm going to be saying color. I'm going to be setting this to a very light gray. So not completely white, but instead just a light gray. Once again, I find it easier to read um, a light gray as opposed to white. So now uh, saving this right here and refreshing the page um, gives no immediate effect. However, if I was to change uh, my theme here to be dark mode, we can see uh, straight away um, it has changed to be a dark mode. So obviously you have quite a bit of flexibility when it comes to uh, um, using CSS to uh, support dark mode. So now um, let's have a look at how to actually detect it using JavaScript. So down inside here, I'm going to make a new script tag and essentially it's very straightforward. Uh, the way you detect it using JavaScript is simply by doing this. You say window.matchmedia. Okay, so this is going to be a function call. And inside here, you pass in this string right here. You put in brackets and you put in the exact same thing which we used up here. So I'll just copy this and then paste it down here. And now we're saying if this matches, so we're going to say dot matches like this. So this property right here matches is going to be true or false depending on um, if this is uh, uh, supported. Okay. So now uh, we're going to simply just uh, console.log um, the value of the matches property. Okay, I'm going to save this and then refresh the page. And as we can see right there, we get true in the console. Okay, and of course now going back inside here and changing to light mode. If I refresh now, we can see it now says false. And also, it is uh, automatic and dynamic, I guess you can call it. So um, if I was to just press up here, we can see I've already called this. Okay, so I might just leave this here. Uh, sorry, I'll uh, leave this here and then go back inside the, uh, the window settings and change it to dark mode, then do it again. And now it says true. Okay, so it works just like that. And um, that is how to uh, detect it using JavaScript. And that is how you can detect OS color schemes with CSS and JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.